Good morning. Happy Monday. Y'all throw me some hearts and let me know if you can hear me. Let me know where you guys are chiming or streaming <laughs> in from. As you can see, your girl was not planning on uh, getting in front of the camera today, but God just gave me a word. It was too good to not share. So I have to be obedient and tell you guys what it is that he's told me to share because this is definitely someone's message. So tag your buddies, tag your friends, start a watch party, invite someone, give me some hearts and let me know if you can hear me. Tell me where you're streaming in from. And if you did not yet see the title of this message, it is your time is up. This is a heavy word. This is someone's word. Whose word is it? I don't know. We shall find out. Um, but uh, one of the things that God just actually he's been speaking to me about this for a few days now, but he made it very, very clear today. Um, many are called, but few are chosen. You guys have heard that before. That's that's no secret. With that being said, yes, we have our own free will. You have your free will and you have God's will. But those of us that have been marked and chosen by God, your free will has an expiration date on it. Good morning, beautiful. Your free will definitely has an expiration date. Um, and what do I mean by that? We have all, we are an investment. Like our lives have been paid for. Um, the thing that God has placed on the inside of us is, is priceless. And those of us who have been marked and chosen, there is a time that God will, I mean, his grace is sufficient and his grace, his mercy, his blessings, he will still bless you, cover you. But when you've been marked, there's still so much you can do and get away from, get away with. Some of, some of you may feel like you knew that it was God that pulled you out of the mess in the situations that you've been in. When you've been marked, yes, you have your own free will, but when it's time for God, when he's ready, not when it's time for God, thank you, Jesus. When he's ready to bring forth the very thing that he placed on the inside of you, he's going to do whatever, especially if you're still living for your free will. Your free will is going to have an expiration date. There is going to come a time when God is going to say, it is now time to call you forth. It is now time for me to make the decisions that you would not make on your own. It is time for me to close those doors in those rooms that you've still been in. It is time for me to sever those relationships that you have not cut off that I've required for you to cut off. God will shake things up in such a way to where you're forced to surrender. You're forced to just lay down prostate. God, I, I give it to you. Have your way. I, I lay down my will and submit to yours. And reason being, this is this is not for everybody, but reason being, those of you that have been marked and chosen and stamped with God's approval, he knows what he's placed on the inside of you. He knows the oil that you carry, the anointing that you carry. It's priceless. And there's a time when that investment is set to come forth. Y'all, you speaking from someone um, with experience, you can kick and scream all you want. You can run from God all you want. You can hide all you want. You can try and give it back to him all you want. But his marked ones cannot get away from what it is that God has to bring forth to come to pass. His plans are going to manifest regardless of what has to be done. Those of you who have been marked, um, this is the time. God said to come on here and tell somebody, this is the time where he's going to come and make those decisions that you wouldn't make on your own. You may notice it seems like life is just getting crazy. Like he, God will come and shake everything up, shake everything up. He's going to come make you uncomfortable. He's going to come close doors. He's going to sever those relationships. He's going to pull people out of your life. He's going to get you to a place where it's just you and him. You can't run. You can no longer hide what I placed on the inside of you. Now it's time for that to come out. You can only live for your free will for so long. I was telling some of my business partners this this morning. We we hear that we have our, our free will and then there's God's will. We can't live for both. But not everybody has been marked. Not everybody has been chosen. And his chosen ones can only live for their free will for so long. Um, it is time for God's true sons and daughters to rise up. Your time is up. If you have not surrendered to God, if you're not living for God's will, if he marked you, he's coming for what he placed on the inside of you. That's just like um, in the book of Genesis, 
where he he's looking for Adam in a garden. Adam, where are you? Adam and Eve were hiding because at that point they knew they were naked. You know, God is, he's, he's coming for you. Where are you? Where are you, son? Where are you, daughter? I am coming for you now. I've let you live your will long enough. You've yet to surrender to me. You've yet to live and fulfill my will. You've let to get in, yet to get in alignment and in agreement with me, but now your time is up. Your free will has an expiration date on it. And if you're anything like myself, I, I ran for mine, but God knows what to shake up and what to just make your life feel like hell to get your attention to where you're going to come face down. Lord, I surrender. Mine was my marriage. I've had funny money before. I've had uh, eviction notices before when we lived in an apartment. I've had car repossessions before. You know, I've had the lights turned off before, but God knew exactly what to shake up to get my attention. When he started touching home, when my marriage was shaky and all over the place and I didn't know what was going on, God knew how to get my attention. So instead of me gracefully bowing down and coming to his feet and surrendering, I was forced to be thrown at his feet. Had no idea what was going on. We tend to give the enemy too much credit. Yes, sis, let's talk about it. We give the enemy too much credit. The enemy's been busy with this. He's been attacking me. He's been doing this, this, and that. The devil is not, I've said this yesterday on my post, and if you've yet to see it, the devil is not all knowing. He studies you. That's why they say praise confuses the enemy. He studies you. He studies your habits. He studies how you're in your feelings. He studies what upsets you. He studies what just knocks you off your game. And once he studied you and realized what's going to shake you up, that's how he hits you. That's how he attacks you. But he has no power. He is not all knowing. But I say all of that to say, for those of you who have not surrendered to God, if you are his marked ones, if you have been chosen, if you've been stamped with God's seal of approval, it is time. Your time is up. No longer for your free will. And I say this prophetically. Some of you are going to feel like everything that could go wrong is going wrong. Let me tell you this now. Stop giving the enemy credit. Those things that are shaken up, God said to tell you it's him. He's shaking that up. He's destructing things. He's tearing things apart. He's severing relationships. He's closing doors. He's pulling you out of rooms that you should have no longer been in. He's taking you out of places that your time is up, your season is up there. He's, he's pulling people out of your life, even the ones that you want to hang on to for dear life. God said he's the one behind it. So I'm here to tell you now. Don't get on social media and tell everybody the enemy's busy. He's after this. He's after that. God said to tell you it's him. He's the one making your life feel like everything is closing in. You've been marked. I was talking to Karen. Listen, sis, we were talking earlier today um, that even though God has no favorites, there are a few that have been marked. When you've been marked, there are things that you can't get away with. You can only get away with certain things for so long. You can only get away with doing things a certain way for so long. When it's time for the earth, when the world, when the nation, when the people need what it is that God has placed on the inside of you, he says, come forth. Lazarus, come forth. It is time for that dead thing. It is time for you to wake up. Some of you have spiritual gifts that have been dormant. God has given you gifts, but you haven't claimed them. God has given you an anointing, but you haven't allowed him to press you and to crush you and to break you and to mold you to bring forth the very thing that he placed on the inside of you. God said to tell you your time is up. This is not everyone's message, but if you have been marked and chosen, this is your message. If you've been marked and chosen, you have run from God or you allowed him to start this breaking process and you kind of backslid and you ran. God said your time is up. The shaking that you're getting ready to feel, it's not the enemy, it is God. This destruction that you're getting ready to feel, it is not the devil, it is God. Relationships that are going to soon, quickly, and suddenly fall apart, it is not demonic, it is God. And we got to stop giving the enemy so much credit, but take that as, um, that's a blessing. You may not feel like it, but it's a blessing in disguise. God has... Not only does the world and the people have something, y'all got to understand the things that God takes you through, it's not just about you. Yes, he needs a vessel that can go through it and endure it, the crushing and the breaking and the molding, the trials, the fire, the storm, the refining, all of that. 
even though you have to go through it and suffer it, you're going through it because there is a people, there is a nation whose lives are counting on what God has placed on the inside of you. God, I remember he told me earlier this year, once you value what I placed on the inside of you, you will see why you have to go through what you're going through. Right now, you don't understand what you carry. When you understand what you carry, when you understand how valuable it is, when you understand that it's a nation that needs it, when you understand that the kingdom is calling you forth, that the kingdom is ready to bring forth, that the angels are cheering, they're ready for you to manifest that thing that God has given you. Once you understand the value of what you carry, you'll treat it differently. You'll realize whose team you're on. You'll realize who's the author and the finisher of your book. You'll realize whose hand is over you. You'll realize who's covering and who's protecting you. It's not about you. But I'm so ready for this. Doors are going to close. That's God relationships that were supposed to not be no more are going to suddenly fall apart. It's not like it's going to eventually happen. All of a sudden, old girl, old boy, whomever, God is going to sever all of that because there was a time he required these things. There was a time that he sent prophetic messages to you. There were times he gave you signs. There were times that you had indication that something was telling you not to get into this, not to take this job, walk away from this job. It's time for you to move. It's time for you to do this. It's time for you to do that. And because of our disobedience and our free will, some of us just held on to it just a little too long. And it's not that it was too long to where God was like, oh, okay, you know, I let this happen long enough. It's time now to bring forth what you carry. God is getting ready to shake some things up. And I'm not even speaking about, you know, what we see now with the world pandemic. I'm talking about your personal life. I'm talking about your workplace. I'm talking about your job. I'm talking about your finances. I'm talking about your relationships. I'm talking about your family. He's going to shake things up to get your attention, to get you to come to him. You have two choices. We can either gracefully bow at his feet and lay down our will and submit to his or we could be forced and thrown at his feet. I didn't go with option A, I went with option B because I was stubborn, I was hard headed, but God knew exactly what to do to get my attention. God knows where to attack, not even attack, forgive me for that. God knows where to shake things up. He knows where to allow a certain destruction to be, not to harm you. But for one, to wake you up, two, to get your attention, three, for you to surrender to him for his plan to unfold. Some things many of us were supposed to walk away from that we didn't. God is going to cut that off. There is a time um, that God is, he's coming to circumcise. Not the way we saw back in the Bible, but God is, he's coming with his knife to cut things away to cut things that don't look like him, to cut things that displease him, to cut the things that is causing us to be hindered and stagnant to the, the men and women that he created us to be, the sons and daughters that he created us to be. Please understand this when I say your time is up. Some of you, this is going to happen instantly. It's going to happen suddenly. And you're going to feel like I, I heard about this on the live. And it just seemed like a few days later, later that week, everything just went, seemed like it just went to hell. God is coming to shake some things up if you've been marked. But just know, even though he's shaking things up, he's, he's getting ready to take you through the process of crushing and bringing forth the oil that he placed on the inside of you. What you carry, the world needs, the nation needs, the kingdom needs. The earth needs that. It is time. God is raising up a new generation, his true sons and daughters. I've said this time after time after time. God is calling for us to turn from our wicked ways, humble ourselves and repent. Repent doesn't always mean you're asking for forgiveness of your sins. Repent means to turn. This is our time that God is coming as a woman again. Turn to me. Repent. Turn back to me. You got off course. Turn to me. But those of you that have been marked, even if you don't want to turn, he's about to make you turn. He's about to shake things up where you have no choice but to be forced to turn. You're going to be laying down face first, crying all over the place. God, I surrender to, to have me, whatever it is that you want, just take it. I surrender to your will. 
Y'all, this, I told you, I've said this before, 2020 was the worst year and the best year of my life. God knew exactly where to shake things up in my life to get my attention. And when he shook up home, oh, he had my undivided attention. But also the area that he shakes up is where your, your breakthrough is tied also. Where you had your breakdown, your breakthrough is tied in that as well. There's a process that you're going to have to endure. Stop giving the enemy credit. God is getting ready to take you through some things. It's not going to feel like God. It's not even going to look like God. Just know it's God. What he's placed inside of you, it is time to come forth. It is time. He's calling you forward now. He's calling you out. He's calling you back to him. He's getting ready to draw you closer. He's bringing the water to you. We hear so much that you have your own free will. And yes, we do. That is true. But so many of us think, well, if I don't turn, if I don't surrender to God's will, God is a gentleman. He won't force himself on you. Mm, I beg to differ. If you've been marked and chosen, he may not force himself on you, but he's going to shake things up so much. He's going to call so much around you to where you, you, you not relying on anything or anyone else. You're not looking to man. You're not looking to nothing but God. That's God. That's not the enemy. We keep saying the devil is doing this. The devil is doing that. No, God is, he's Adam. Where are you? Who told you you were naked? This is about to be a beautiful thing. You, you are about to go through a process, but the ending results is going to be so beautiful. Yes, you're going to suffer. Yes, God is going to take you through the fire. Yes, God will take you through the storm. Um, that's It's a part of the process. And once you endure that process, he will come back and heal those wounds that he inflicted. He will come back and give you beauty for your ashes. He will come back and give you a garden for your grave. But you have to go through the process. So his marked ones, his chosen ones, sis, Brother, I'm here to tell you, God says your time is up. Things are getting ready to suddenly happen, immediately happen, not gradually. He waited for the gradually. He tried to send prophetic words for the gradually. The, the Holy Spirit tried to nudge you for the gradually. But God says now, okay, now I'm coming in to make those decisions that you would not make on your own. Now I'm coming in to sever every one of those relationships that I told you to walk away from that you knew you should no longer be a part of. Everything that you try to hold on to that's not me, I'm getting ready to tear that apart. I'm pulling it apart. All those people that are in your life that are not for you or not meant to go to the next season, I'm going to remove them. All of those rooms that you were once in that your time is now up in those rooms, I'm getting ready to pull you out of them. All those things that you're doing that aren't of me, I'm getting ready to stop all of that. The things that you idolize, the things that you put on your throne, the things that you spend too much time with, that you worship, I'm, I'm coming to tear all of that down. You idolize your job, I'm going to pull you from your job. You idolize this relationship, I'm going to sever this relationship. We serve a jealous God, not only a jealous God, but a God who's who speaks a word that cannot come back void or no. So if he spoke a word and he placed something on the inside of you, you are an investment. What you carry has to come out. God placed it. In. It's not like, oh man, they, you know, they still doing X, Y, Z. You know, that would have been a good one if I could have just got them in alignment, you know, got them in agreement with me. Nope. He's coming to do it for you. It's going to be a beautiful thing. It's not going to feel good, but it's going to be a beautiful thing when God is done. Don't fight it. Don't fight the process. Your time is up. Your free will has expired. You have been marked. You have been chosen. It is time for your anointing. It is time for that thing that you carry to manifest. It's time to bring that into fruition. You've run long enough. You've hidden from me long enough. Who told you you were naked? Get ready, y'all. God is, God is up to something. It is already happening as we speak. 
Get ready, get ready, get ready. In the words of TDJ, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. God is getting ready to do some amazing things. And his marked ones and his chosen ones, God is calling you forth. It's time. He's waited long enough. And now the things you wouldn't do, God is coming back. And you're, he's, he's, his grace is going to chase you down to the point where you're not going to have the peace that you desire. And it's not that God is doing this to harm you. He's doing this for his, for your good and for his glory, for what he knows you thank him when this is over. You may be angry. You may kick and scream. You may put up a fight. You may wrestle on a mountain with him like Jacob did. But you will thank him for this when it's over with. It's a blessing. I'm not even going to say in disguise. It's definitely a blessing. Doesn't have to feel good to be good. But it will feel good in the end. Y'all be blessed. Stay prayed up. Thank you so much for listening. Um, and just get ready. Your time is up. I will see you guys on the next um, episode or the next message that God gives me to share. Love y'all. Bye.